Don't rely on others. You should never expect others to do it for you, not even your partner, friend or boss. They are all busy with their own needs. No one will make you happy or achieve your goals for you. It's all on you. Have trouble reading fiction because your mind wanders? Read one chapter a day and make handwritten notes about important details as you go along. Then reread your prior notes before embarking on a new chapter. This will dramatically increase your enjoyment and satisfaction. Many gas stations are perfectly okay with you using their microwaves. Homemade lunches, leftovers, frozen dinners. All fair game as long as the employees know you aren't stealing. If your immediate supervisor frequently takes credit for your work and ideas, set up a meeting with his slash her supervisor and set the record straight. You'll never advance if you stay silent. While dealing with alcoholics or addicts of any other kind never try to force them to quit. It never works. Save yourself the energy and pain. While dealing with addiction a lot of issues and emotions inevitably come up. As someone who has gone through both the cycle of being an immediate family to an addict and addict myself, I'd like to share a few tips. Addicts will never quit if they are being forced by another person. They'll put up an act and then revert back sooner rather than later. Stop trying to force family members or friends or so's to quit. Coaxing works better than force most times. Sometimes it doesn't work at all. Young people struggling with drugs and alcohol will be unwilling to commit to sobriety for the rest of their lives. Support them to lessen their dependence rather than quit completely. They'll come to the realization on their own. The most important lesson I've learned is that you can control what you do and how you react, but you can never control how another person reacts or shows is to live their life. Make your decisions based on this principle and the emotional strain on you will lessen. The best path I've seen is to give occasional advice to addicts, remind them of health hazards and the emotional strain it puts on their relationships. Don't berate them every single time. A good talking to when someone's just pissed themselves in their 50s or made their friends take them home with vomit all over their car and clothes, for younger people, can be a thousand times more effective than constant put-downs. Refer them to relevant AA slash NA meetings in the area or al anon slash NAR anon for family members. Books like Courage to Change, the Bible and others are tried and true resources that are worth a shot as well. It's that time of year when mice try to get in out of the cold by making your house their house here's a good tip for stopping them, I like mice. I think they're cute if I saw one out in a field I'd pat him on the head and give him a piece of cheese what I'm not a fan of is going into my basement to get my Christmas decorations and finding that there was evidence that they have been taking up residence in my house. And judging by the amount of excrement, I'd guess it was more than one, so what do I do? Put poison out for them so they go back into the wall and die and their fat bloated little mousy bodies can rot to leave behind grotesque little rodent skeletons that I'll have to live with forever? Absolutely not. I'm going to get some wooden head slamming mouse traps to bash their tiny little skulls in and throw them in the trash, here's where the tip comes in, standard wooden mouse traps are the tried and true method, they work great, no need to fuck around with these new age no show or fucking electric mouse traps, and if you think glue traps are a good way to go you might need to talk to a professional because that's just sick. Anyway, take a good old fashioned mouse trap and a toothpick and smear the tiniest little bit of peanut butter up onto the curled end. The copper piece that gets pushed down is shaped like a sleigh, it goes up and curls around, put it under the curl just a little smathering, enough for the scent. Then, take a single kibble of dog or cat food and hot glue it to the copper piece. I put the glue on the dog food, stick it to it, and then used a lighter to heat up the piece of copper again till it really set on there. Today I got home from work and my traps all had mice, all I had to do was open it to drop the mouse in a barrel and reset it, and then wash my hands. With the piece of food glued there it's not like just using peanut butter I used to go and find all my traps slipped clean it was so annoying when you glue the food there they need to try to yank it off or take a bite of it, which is enough to spring the trap. Also make sure you price check the amount of traps, I almost bought a 12 pack on Amazon for $14 to 15 and then found 4 packs for $1.96 for the exact same ones. If you're doing any stressful traveling. Have someone clean your house while you're away yes I know having a cleaning person may not be affordable for everyone. Even if it's just a one-off, or you have a friend who's willing to do it for a few bucks or something in trade, coming home to a clean house is refreshing and soul calming. Don't small talk with people when you're asking them for help. It shows that you only care when you need something from them. Be honest and get straight to the point. When you have a to-do list for the day, if possible, do the things you don't like to do first. This method will help you get through the day in a much calmer way. In the morning, you are more alert and have more energy so you can weather the annoying slash stressful tasks much easier. Also, it allows you to relax a bit more knowing you have those things off your plate and immerse yourself in the tasks you like doing more.
When someone insults you during a meeting, pretend as if you did not hear them and ask them to repeat what they just said. They will either apologize or confirm their unprofessional behavior to the meeting audience, the latter cannot be accepted. Psychological safety makes or breaks teams. Aggressive language should therefore be avoided at all time and actively eliminated from corporate cultures. The tip above helps flagging that insults are not accepted in the workplace. Don't ask couples when they are starting a family, having kids. It is rude and, a very personal subject and you don't know what they are dealing with. Increasing your typing speed can save you 30 minutes a day or more, if you're a student, blogger, work a computer job, or otherwise spend a lot of time online. Break cleaning down by task to make it seem like you are making progress. For example, instead of thinking oh, no, I have to clean this entire house. I like to break it down by task. I'll start with dusting. Once I finish dusting, I put the dust cloth and pledge away. There. That is done. Next. I'll clean the stainless steel appliances. I then put the stainless cleaner away. There. That is done. Scrub the sink, put the comet away. Done.